deserves best deck, baby! Let's go! I hope you enjoyed those uh, little replays, and I first have to thank King Scarlet Yu-Gi-Oh for allowing me to use a clip from his video as the intro. And I'm also hoping he won't get too mad at me for this. 
So, when it comes to this deck, this was kind of requested by the Hover Card Man during the deck building stream a while back. And that's basically what we did during that stream. I did a little bit of tweaking here and there, so uh, let's get through the deck right now. We're playing Triple Scrap Raptor, Triple Scrap Yard, Triple Fossil Day, so we can get to Scrap Raptor as quickly as humanly possible. One Fridge, one Scrap Recycler, and one Rosenix. That's basically the Scrap Engine. That allows us to go into Scrap for Wyvern and do things from there. Interesting part about this is that the Recycler can send any machine type monster to the grave, not only Rosenix, and since all of the appliances are machines, those can also be sent to the graveyard, and that provides some additional utility later down the line. When it comes to the appliances themselves, we're playing Triple Breaker Bunkle, which is basically just a battle, a card that saves our appliance or link monsters from battle. We are playing triple copy buckle and triple socket roll, those are the basic ones we are going to use just so we can get all the link plays up and running. We are playing triple electrical world, which is a pretty decent card, it's a nice searcher, but beside that I didn't use it for too many things besides the search. It also allows us to move our link monsters to different zones, making the use of their various effects, if they're co-linked or not, which is also a very interesting game mechanic. We're playing Triple Reuse, and this is one of the most important cards, especially with the Scrap Engine. Since a Recycler can send any of our appliances to the graveyard, and we can then revive those with Reuse, giving us a pretty decent combination when it comes to providing Link materials. We're also playing Check in the Hand at two copies. That is here because all the appliance monsters are level 1, so we can just slap it, get an appliance up, and go from there. The monster won't do much for the opponent, so I don't think that's any of um, our concerns when it comes to the opponent having the monster. We're playing two machine duplication. Not three, but two. I took a page from uh, Scarlet's, from King Scarlet's um, take on the deck, and I have to say that he's correct about machine duplication. At three, it's just a bit too bricky, especially since we're playing the Scrap Engine, and that doesn't facilitate machine duplication. So, we're going to stick with machine duplication at 2. It is a power card, and if used on a socket roll, Birkin buckle, or copy buckle, it gives us a very good link play. But... It's not something you want to use too often or see it too often on hand, especially since we have, like I mentioned before, the Scrap Engine. We're also playing the Code Breakers, since uh, the appliance Celtopus, which is our main link monster we'll be using and placing in the extra monster zone, has the best link arrows for the Code Breaker package. A down and a left down. And that makes it so we don't need to go into any bigger link, free link monsters to get all of our code breaker package going. So I really like that. For our hand traps, we're playing Triple Imperm, Double Draw, and Triple Ash Blossom. This is basically self explanatory. For the extra deck, we have one Scrap Wyvern to facilitate our Scrap Engine. I already mentioned Celtopus, Laundry Dragon I don't think needs any introduction. We're playing two Vacuum Elephant and one Link Rebo. That's basically all for the appliance a part of the deck. And then we have our Codebreaker package with Virus Swordsman and Virus Berserker. And Virus Berserker is very interesting not only as an additional extender, 
and material for the power load ogre, uh, but also because it can destroy spells and traps up to the number of linked cold breaker monsters. So if you summon Violet Berserker and it effect resolves, you summon back two cold breaker monsters. This is basically a walking 2800 attack point twin twister. Which is which is good for this kind of meta. I also forgot to mention about Link Karibo. Link Karibo is here for the instance that our Celtopuses are gone or uh, we weren't able to make any. The Appliance of Monsters are not that big, but they have powerful effects. So if, let's say, a Laundry Dragon is attacked by a much bigger monster, we can use Link Karibo to make the attack of the opponent's monster drop to zero and apply Laundry Dragon's effect for that attack, giving us some really welcomed utility. When it comes to uh, going back to the Codebreaker package, when it comes to the big payoffs for this, we have Goki the Power Load Ogre, the monster that cannot be touched except by a kaiju. We have Access Code Toka, which is actually pretty neat considering we have Earths, Darks, Waters, more Darks, some Lights, Winds. We have basically every attribute, so the Access Code Toka has a lot of utility in here. Also, it's a powerhouse. And of course, we have Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess, just for additional negation. And the card that you might be wondering why is here, the Draco Masters of the Tenny. And so, it's here because it's a link free. It has all arrows going down, and it and it needs two plus monsters, including a link monster. So we can make Draco Masters of the Tenny from Scrap Wyvern, and any monster summoned with that effect. Making it pretty actually decent. And to facilitate the linked or not co-linked effects of our appliance and monsters. It doesn't provide any protection like Celtopus does, so it's not as good. But it can also facilitate the code breaker package when it comes to the Draco Masters of the Tenny. And that is in most decks my go-to link monster to put in the extra monster zone when I go into code breakers because it's easy to summon and has all the right link arrows facilitating the code breaker engine. So anyway, that's that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please don't burn me in the comments too much <laughs> or please do whatever you uh, see fancy. If you like this kind of content or any other thing I produce, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, etc, etc, etc. And I will see you all in the next video. Chocolo signing out. Peace!